One morning you wake up and slowly walk outside the house, but you can't see anyone there, only complete silence. You realize that shocking truth. All your family members and your loved ones are now dead. Can you think of something like that? But something like this happened to the people living in Lake Neos in Africa. Today I welcome you to the real things that happened in that cursed village that caused the death of more than 1,700 people. On the 22nd day of August, 1986, Afril, who lives in Upper Neos, near Cameroon, South Africa, opens his eyes as he works. He was feeling extremely tired and was trying to remember what had happened the day before. He only remembered that he had heard a loud noise during the night. He has no idea what happened next. Working very hard, he slowly starts trying to get out of that bed, but he is starting to feel very dizzy. He sits there for some time when everything seems fine slowly. Afril comes out of his house, but he feels very strange there. Usually he sees a lot of people outside his house today. He can't see anyone. There is not a single person on the streets of Upper Neos, and there is a great silence. No chirps of crickets. No sounds of animals or people talking. He had no idea what had happened. At this time, he wonders if all the people living in this village have left him. He knocks on the door of his neighbor to find out what happened. Although the door was not completely locked, Afril saw the people of that house sleeping through the small opening of the door. On one of these occasions, he thought that maybe because he got up early today. Everyone else was sleeping. He is slowly starting his journey towards Lower Neos, near the Lake Neos. On both sides, he is walking. There are big pastures. Normally, there are many animals grazing there early in the morning. But today, Afril could see all the cows lying on the ground. What is happening there, and what has happened there? He had no idea. When he slowly approached those cows, on that one occasion, he realizes the shocking fact that none of these cows are sleeping, but they are all dead. Not a single cow survived. Greatly frightened, Afril was preparing to run to his house as quickly as possible. Suddenly, he heard a woman's voice crying in the distance. As soon as he heard the woman's voice, he ran. When he went there, what he could see was a woman who was screaming that her whole body was burning. And there were a few men lying beside them. None of them moved. When he looked closer, he could see there were blood spots. Yes, they have all passed away in this world. At that moment, Afril was wondering if all this was real or if he was still dreaming. Those were the moments when Afril was left with no idea what was going on there. At this time, some of the stories that his grandfather used to tell him during his childhood came to Afril's mind. People who once lived in Upper Nyos on top of Lake Nyos are deciding to cross the lake and move to Lower Nyos. But many people had a great deal of fear in this matter. Calming them down, their leader came forward and told them not to be afraid of anything, and they started their journey with them. When they reached the bank of the Nyos Lake, the leader chanted some mantras and raised both his hands to the sky. Suddenly, the water parted, and a new path appeared for them to travel. Following the leader, the people started to walk all the way, but when they reached about halfway, something came and bit the leader's hands, and even though the mantra became ineffective, the leader slowly began to lower his hands down, and the water in the Nios Lake fell on the common people, and all those common people succumbed to death. But none of their spirits ever left. They continued to haunt the lower Nios and its people. That's why the part called Lower Neos has become a cursed village. After all these things happened before his eyes, Afril's first thought was that all these things must be the work of the spirits of those dead people. He is moving forward thinking that the problems of that cursed village will be... Suddenly, he hears a loud scream from a nearby house. He rushes over there and on that one. At that moment, he could see a person who was having great difficulty getting out of bed. But as he got closer, he had to say, his daughter is in the next room. See if something happened to her. Afril entered the room and saw the child was lying dead. As soon as possible, Afril and the person of that house took his bike and rushed to the next village and told about this tragedy that happened in their village. But no one was ready to believe those things. But later they also understood the truth. About 1,700 people who lived in Lower Neos died. All the media of the world are reporting these things. 
and investigations are being started to find out what actually happened that day. On these occasions, when the water of Nios Lake was examined, it was seen to be red in color. So the survivors of the disaster said the reason for everything was that the spirits or ghosts. Some other people say that it was the government itself that caused the death of all these people through some kind of secret mission, that it was the government that killed them all. Anyway, many geologists come to this area after seeing such a color change in this lake. Under their leadership, significant investigations are also being initiated. They are the ones who have revealed all these secrets. Almost two years ago, 37 people living on the banks of the nearby lake also died in a similar manner. In fact, these lakes have led to the death of so many people. These lakes are formed by the filling of water in the pit that was once formed due to a large-scale volcanic eruption. These lakes can also be described as inactive volcanoes standing above a volcanic plate. From below, large-scale chemical reactions are taking place, and large-scale carbon dioxide and other volcanic gases are being accumulated. Its quantity is approximately 1 lakh to 3 lakh ton. All the carbon dioxide and other toxic gases are spreading to the nearby villages and becoming like a big cloud. We know that carbon dioxide, which is one and a half times heavier than oxygen, and it is starting to build up in these neighborhood. Along with that, many people starts to feel drowsy. Some people feel like their body is burning, and some people die in their sleep due to inhaling all these toxic gases. All these things actually happened to the people who were living in the nearby village. The water in Lake Neos turned red even though it was completely red due to the water at the bottom of the lake, which is rich in iron to a large extent, and when it reached the surface and then came into contact with oxygen dot in the same way, many people say that they heard a big noise that night and they are doing investigations with it, but they are not able to find an exact answer. They explain that maybe it was some kind of earthquake, landslide, or a small volcanic eruption at the bottom of the lake. Perhaps it was that one event that released the carbon dioxide that was trapped at the bottom of the lake on such a large scale and caused the death of all these people. The video ends here. If you like the video, then please leave your opinions in the comment box. Goodbye, everyone, and thank you.